we're in Gurvahi the day. This is uh, the headquarters of County Tyrone, um, GAA. I suppose this will be called the Holy Grail now for many in this county, and rightly so, it's beautiful. Uh, decal, um, and I know DARD and other departments, but particularly from my own department, we invested a half a million pounds in the Gurvahi site. And our interest was not just purely about the sport and the physical activity, it was also about access, how you get kids from a housing estate in Straban to Gurfahi, how do they get access, how do they train and how to have an identity with this place. So for us it isn't just about the 3G pitch, it's about the legacy. That, that is part of the culture of heritage and there's more out we're going to see it from the outside here and we're about to win. Well, as chairman of the Yan South Thronburg Council, I was obviously delighted to be welcomed here this morning to view the facilities for the first time. And obviously, as a council, we were delighted obviously to provide seventy-five thousand towards it. And it's important when you do that that you go along to see how things have progressed. And today, I like the the range of pitches, the excellent facilities within the new building, the stuff for the, for the Throne team and for the wider community. I think it's more important to emphasise. Because I think what we're trying to do within the GA and obviously Council want to incorporate that is we want to make facilities open and accessible to all members of the community. And Kieran McLaughlin, the chairman, was explaining some of the uh, bodies that have been using the facility already and uh, dealing with health, mo health monitors and stuff like that. And I think that's something we want to encourage and we certainly welcome the use of this facility for that purpose. Increased mobility and they can't because they've bad knees, bad hips, whatever. That's why if you get under it, you can set the weight control on it. Great facility, absolutely amazing. Not only is it uh, about all about physical health, but it's about mental health as well, which is a very, very emotive subject within a community with uh, young men and young girls at the minute. I'm delighted to be part of um, the team of Women District Council who gave funding towards this great initiative taken by Tyrone Club GA. Well, I mean, I think the facility itself is absolutely uh, brilliant. It's a credit. Uh, uh, to the GEA and County Tyrone and it's a credit to our two ministers, Carol Lee Cullen and Michelle O'Neill, the way they related uh, to the proposals that, that were put in front of them. The combination of all of that has produced this absolutely brilliant uh, centre uh, of excellence. I was looking at some of the historical stuff on the walls and being a Donegal man I, I reminded them that Owen Roe O'Neill landed with his Continental Army in my home parish in Donegal and so that needs to go somewhere up on the wall to get the, those links together. But I stand here today, you know, um, we're very excited about how this has come come to come to pass. Um, from the very, very outset, the party has fully endorsed the Gervahi project. Indeed, we're, we're very proud to be patrons of Gervahi and see your name up on the, the last panel here inside the, 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 the foyer of the building. Uh, and certainly through through the party at council and assembly level, we've endorsed it fully. Uh, we, we, through the four councils of Tyrone, we contributed towards the project and indeed our ministers uh, wholeheartedly embraced it as well. So uh, the last day we were here, this was a building site. Uh, we're here, we're here along with the ministers um, some months ago, and it's great to come back here now. And the project is almost completed. Uh, this is a wonderful asset, not just for the people uh, of Tyrone, but indeed for the, the wider province of Ulster, the nine counties of Ulster, and further afield. Uh, I think today was really a familiarisation visit for the, the, the party. You know, the party wanted to have a look around, and obviously with the two ministers uh, from Decal and from Dard, Michelle and Carol, were here to have a look at just how their money had been spent from the department. Uh, Tyrone GA, we're very grateful to the department, to both departments, to get that money. And hopefully today, people have all, all the members will be able to attend have seen how the money was spent and spent wisely by the, the association. So what we hope to do now is to get this facility available to the wider community, making sure that obviously our own sports are catered for, but alongside our own sports being catered for, we very much want to ensure that the wider community across this whole area, and indeed across the province, the strategic project as far as the GA are concerned, is available to everybody that wants to use it, and ensuring that those who want to avail of a health opportunity take it. Well it's great to be here this morning, it's great to have a look around and at the new centre, it's obviously a fantastic centre and I'm delighted that my department through our development funding was able to contri contribute over a million pounds towards the project. I mean it's a massive investment in a time of economic of the economic climate that we're in and the negative time that we're in. The fact that Throne GAA have been able to provide employment through construction, through the ongoing uh, work that's going on this site, it's been great over the last wee while. I know the people of Throne are going to benefit greatly from this centre so it's great that myself and Carney Cullen, our sports minister, is here today because we both were 
involved in funding the project. So I think for us today it's great to be here to see how the money's been well spent, money that we've allocated out uh, to, drone GA, to Drone GA. So it's great to be here and also great to see that our, uh, all our councillors are here as well because the councils have been working very hard with Drone GA down through the years in terms of um, funding positions, to development uh, positions in, count in the Drone GA squad but also um, providing capital funding to local GA clubs because they're all part of the, the, the county and I think it's important that we continue to support them in every way we can.